everyone. Hi, you guys. Coach Nikki here. I am so excited about today's episode. Uh, one is because I'm leaving for Peru tomorrow. So we, uh, my son and I have an incredible opportunity to go travel in Peru. We're volunteering in a children's hospital in a surgery center, and we're living with a local family. So my heart uh, has been how to get us properly prepared to travel. So when we get there, we're energetic and we're ready to be in service of other people and we just feel good. And so as I was like preparing for this talk, I'm so excited to share with you some of what I think are my travel hacks, um, whether you're going on a road trip, whether you are um, doing a triathlon, like we've got Nancy here. So I know she's going to be taking some notes on some good like supplements to take pre-travel, uh, whether you're going camping, all of this is going to be really good for but it's going to be a lot right because you are kind of already know i'm a lot so um as i'm going through this i'm going to rattle fast deb's going to take some notes and um, if you are and register for these classes on our kyfit app you get the show notes so i encourage you to do that um but if you don't have um if, if you're not signed up for that, just take some notes and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So traveling can be one of the most amazing experiences in the world. But as we know, it's hard on us. It's hard on our bodies. Uh, it kind of creates havoc with our sleep and our digestion and our energy. And it's a lot, whether we're flying into different time zones, whether we're going camping, whether we're packing up the family and everybody's fighting, all of these things, there's so many great memories to be had, but there's simple ways to really give yourself best bets for enjoying your time away from your comfort zone, your home and your normal. So I encourage you to travel. I encourage you to, whether it's just like a one day for me, it's so worth it. My husband, this absolutely has a different opinion on this, but for me, it is so worth it to pack up my car and go for one day to North Shore and do a little overnight camping trip because I don't have, typically have a ton of extra time. So when you're thinking about traveling, it doesn't need to be around the world. It doesn't need to be these like big, huge travel trips that you have to take time off work. You can fit these in after work. You can fit them in on the weekends. You can fit them in the summer, in the winter, whatever it is. But I really encourage you to travel. Just even traveling, I think it's shocking sometimes that like, towns and cities right next to us have these amazing things that probably we've never seen. I know for me, I live in Lake Tahoe and there's things around the lake that I have never seen. I've never camped at all the campgrounds. I've never gone and done different bike rides at different places. So as I'm talking, just let this like feeling of like, I want to travel, just kind of radiate through your body and know that everybody can, uh, incorporate traveling into your life no matter what your budget is or no matter what your time frame is so let's go ahead and dive in because literally you guys i'm going to show you this i have so much stuff here to show you guys so i have like all of this and i have my very favorite backpack that i'm taking and i have my exercise equipment and i have all my supplements that i'm going to share with you guys so Let's go ahead and dive in to some of the hacks that I feel are important. So I'm going to start with supplements and that's because supplements and vitamins when you're traveling are one of the things that can really, really help as far as like regulating everything from sleep, digestion, energy, immune system, when we're out and about a lot of this is compromised. So uh, whether it's like getting yourself packed and then getting yourself through like the security and getting places on time or packing up the car, all of this causes havoc to kind of our normal system. So I wanted to start with supplements and I'm gonna go through these kind of quickly. I think at least when you're doing anything with time change, um, or you're sleeping in a bed that's not yours. Sleep is something that 
maybe we can tend to be a little bit worried about. Um, our, our flights for Peru are red eyes. So we are on the plane overnight for all of our flights. That's not fun. And so what I do as far as my sleep supplements, now I do not take melatonin anytime throughout the year, except when it's really needed. And that for me is being able to sleep sitting upright in an airplane. So melatonin has been something that's been shown to really increase it. Melatonin is something that you naturally produce in your body, but as our uh, life situation varies, increased intensity of cortisol and all of that good stuff, sometimes our melatonin is interrupted. So I travel with melatonin. I take it 30 minutes before I want to go to sleep. So whether that's um, on the airplane or if you're really like jet lagged. So when you're going there, um, if you're if there's a time change, you can take it on the airplane and then also like two or three days until you can get adjusted to the time change. So it's like 0.5 to five milligrams are um, what's suggested for melatonin. And then same thing on the way back, if you have jet lag, take it on the airplane, take it about two or three days. Uh, but I don't encourage you to take it every day because your body um, will get used to the supplement and it can stop producing your own melatonin. So melatonin, uh, magnesium. So magnesium is a mineral that is, uh, it, it helps with like over 600 biological functions in our body. And it is the second deficiency, the second uh, deficiency across the United States in um, in all of us. So I travel with Calm and it's a magnesium supplement. If you're like trying to kick alcohol, it's a really good like nightcap. It helps you sleep. Um, it also helps with energy. It helps. And you can also pack snacks. So I have like a whole bag full of snacks here. Um, so magnesium rich snacks are another thing that's like a supplement a vitamin a food they all kind of come from the idea of plant-based foods so when you're thinking about magnesium pack pumpkin seeds cashews almonds soybeans um, when you sit down to eat a meal ask for extra avocado black beans those are the things that have uh, magnesium in them Okay, so for stress, like I said, like stress, like even this is like super fun, but it's like causing a little bit of stress in my body. So when you have an increased amount of stress, ashwagandha is a really great supplement. So I take Aura and Aura has like a hormone balance. I'm gonna close this real quick. Um, Aura has a hormone balance supplement that um, has ashwagandha, has maca, uh, these like herbs and um, supplements that have been used for thousands of years really help take the stress um, out of your body. It just helps you with like lowering the cortisol levels. So ashwagandha is great. And then magnesium is also good. So magnesium is great for sleep. It's great for stress. Okay. So let's talk about your immune system. When we're traveling, it's we're touching things and people are all over us and we're not you know there's 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 lots of like goopy stuff around that our body might be not used to and especially when we're traveling places that are out of our normal like we have a, like a a microbiome we have like in our home in our works the people that were around we're used to their gunk. And so we have a good like fighting system against it. When we go other places, sometimes we can, we can compromise our immune system. So thinking about prepping for prepping your immune system, and all of these are good to prep except the, the melatonin. But when you're thinking about prepping your immune system, these are a couple of my go-tos. Now, please, you guys, uh, check with your healthcare providers. This is nothing that you should take without um, really thinking about does it work for you? Does it work with a medication that you're taking? Um, because it's a lot. And so just really make sure that you're checking with your healthcare providers first. So when you're thinking about your immune system, I couple things is I do grape seed and I posted this on Instagram for Coach Nikki Warren, but this grape seed um, 
Extract, I put 10 drops in my water. So hydration is a really big, important thing when you're traveling. So 10 drops in the morning, 10 drops at night really helps your immune system. Um, I also take garlic. So garlic is, is not only great for your immune system, um, it is also good for bug bites. So if you're going somewhere like the Lake Tahoe Triathlon and there's tons of mosquitoes or it's mosquito season, taking garlic, um, and also vitamin B, uh, buggies don't like that. So I, I, I always like really, um, cause normally I just cook with garlic. I don't take garlic supplement, but when I'm going on a trip, I take garlic supplement. Um, Allison is an important component in garlic. So it's like, if you're, if you're, um, using garlic as like in food if you chop it up for about 15 minutes ahead of time uh, it releases what's called an allicin and allicin is really great for the immune system so when you get a supplement just make sure it says allicin on it um okay so for your immune system is the grape seed fruit extract is um thinking about the what else okay sorry you guys uh, uh, I mean, it's a, oh, Corilla. So this is like Deb and I's very favorite thing is you can put it in your water. Um, when I travel, I just take it as a supplement. So Corilla not only is great for boosting your immune system, but it helps your brain function better. So then you're not losing your phone and all that, those kind of things. Um, it's really high in vitamin B. So we'll talk about vitamin B in your energy for your energy. Um, also just taking a basic uh, make sure that you're up on your vitamin D. So uh, all of us have heard a lot about vitamin D. I don't need to go into that too much, but make sure you're up on your vitamin D and your vitamin C as far as your immune system. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, how do you travel with all that? I buy these little, like it's a bigger, so it's it's like your like little uh, medicine um, containers, but these are a bigger one. I just got it on Amazon. You can just put like, um, I think it's like, vitamins or medication uh, containers, but ask for like jumbo, the big ones, because you'll have to kind of fit. You can see all my little, all my little vitamins in there. Um, okay, so when we're thinking about our immune system, vitamin C, grapeseed oil, um, apple cider vinegar helps you digest your food, but it's also really good for your, um, for your immune system. And we can't travel with apple cider vinegar, so, um, I take the Aura apple cider vinegar as I travel. I take it with my meals, um, usually in the morning and at night. So those are the two times I take that. Okay, so energy, vitamin B12, if you wanna feel energetic and you wanna get out there and hike and have so much fun on your trip, make sure that you're up on your multivitamins. Um, but vitamin B is a really big one for energy. A lot of people are deficient in it, whether you're vegetarian, vegan, whatever, you know, everybody should be taking vitamin B um, because it's really helpful for your energy, your metabolic system. So it helps you like metabolize better. And it's something that I take with my breakfast when I travel. Um, normally, I just take my multivitamin, like every every day I take complement is the one I take, but I just take my multivitamin, but when I'm going to travel, I take vitamin B in the morning with my breakfast for that increased energy. Um, okay, I'm getting to the end of the supplements, but, but, but digestion is a big one. So traveling with your probiotics and having a probiotic that has a pre and probiotic is important. Um, when you're thinking about like the, the, let's see where they are here. So much goodness up here. Um, so when you're thinking about your probiotics, oh, here we go. So this is trust your gut. It has a prebiotic and a probiotic. You want to make sure that it has over 5,000 um, billion probiotic strains. This one actually has 16,000, but just make sure it's over 5,000 and it's shelf stable because obviously we're traveling with it. So this is something I don't always take a probiotic, but if I have any kind of gut issues for sure, when I'm traveling, if there's anything, because your gut makes you happy, your gut makes you healthy, your gut makes you digest your food. It helps. This can help you with constipation. It can help you if you get like the traveler's diarrhea, all of these. So I really suggest taking two to three 
capsules like a week before you travel the whole time that you're traveling and then if you get any kind of like diarrhea or constipation continue taking it after you travel until you have cured your stomach issues um i'm not going to talk a lot about like some of like the meds that you might want to bring because i think everybody is kind of different but you might want to ask your physician just to call you in like a z pack just in case um you get any kind of like travelers like virus or bug so that's something that's that you might want to uh just kind of google like what kind of medication should i bring because of course like you're probably going to want to have like um uh advil or something like that but what i take in place of advil is i always travel with turmeric so um turmeric is here your golden um again i love aura it's just like it's a trusted brand um but the turmeric it's really important to have a little black pepper in it so it's it's absorbed well a lot of times when we're traveling inflammation is an issue and so when you're thinking about anti-inflammatory um properties turmeric is one of the great as one of the great supplements uh you can always put it in your food and that's what i normally do i don't always take a turmeric supplement unless i'm training really hard for like a run a race an event or i'm traveling i do take it traveling i take it um leading up and i take it all the way through because it also um get, goes through the blood blood brain barrier and decreases inflammation in your brain so if you are going on a vacation that might have some cocktails involved in it and you have a, a big old headache or something uh to tumor can be really great and then it's also i take it in place of advil but you might want to bring advil as well um, okay, so I'm going to just quickly say silver is something I travel with. Um, I could talk on all of these things for two weeks, but we don't have two weeks. So silver is something that you can take for your immune system, but you can also put it on wounds. So if you get bug bites, if you get like um, it, just any kind of wound, you can put silver. So I just have this little travel pack and it's bioactive silver. Again, I don't take this every day. I only take it when I'm traveling, but it is one of my companions. Okay, so I think I got all of the supplements. Um, really in general, a great multivitamin is fine. If you wanted a couple extra hacks for sleeping, immune system, energy, I do take mushrooms. So we have the Kaya mushrooms. Um, I take mushrooms uh, because mushrooms help you, it, they increase your sleep, they decrease your stress, they're really good for building immune system. If you wanna buy our mushrooms, just let us know. Um, and actually you guys that's coral calling me coral's in africa right now so we've also been she's volunteering in africa at a school and uh, as i've been preparing for this talk it's been really helpful to see what she and casey need in africa as well so uh, that's been really fun um, okay, so let's go ahead and move to movement. So one of the most important things to keep up when you are traveling, again, any, any type of traveling, is keeping your body moving and keeping your, like, your body like mobile. So it's not just about like the exercise when you get there, it's about how to keep your body feeling really good, whether you're in a car for too long, whether you are in an airplane for too long. So the first thing that I always wear, and I, I'm the RTO when we did this big long run, is compression socks. So I wear these on the airplane. Um, I have my son wear them, but a good pair of compression socks are really good for circulation. So don't forget to pack those. Um, when you think about your movement, I always bring my jump rope because it's so small, it fits in my little teeny, this little teeny bag. And I can jump rope anywhere when you're in a hotel room, the people love it below you. Um, but as long as it's a reasonable time, it's fine. Uh, but you can go out and literally, you guys, you can jump for five minutes because sometimes I don't know if Peru is gonna be safe for me to go for a walk or run, but I know for sure I could go in the backyard and I could do one minute of jump rope, I also bring a band, then I can do like bicep curls, tricep extensions, and then in the airplane or when you're driving, 
working on different things for your posture. So when you're when you're driving, not you driving, but when you when you are in the passenger seat, um, grab your band, thumbs out, pinkies in, and then just use this to strengthen your posture. So many times um, our digestion, so you're like, ah, I'm constipated. Why am I constipated? It's because our body's not moving effectively. So if we can just do a couple things, even in the airplane, is like just get our muscles moving a little bit. Stand up and do some shoulder shrugs. We can do lots of like really simple exercises with a band and a jump rope. Um, I also usually bring a loop band and I just put it around my legs when I'm driving or when I'm on the airplane. And then you can just kind of do these like, ooh, ooh, like, you know, little kind of like glute building exercises. You can also put them in your hands. Doesn't take a lot. Your body doesn't need a lot. When you're on vacation, it just needs a little, but it needs a little every day. So thinking about some of the things that you can use for exercise. Um, I always bring a lacrosse ball, easy to pack. You know, sometimes you get like, oh, I've got this cramp in my shoulder. You can just put it in behind your chair. You can put it on your low back. You can put it on your glutes. You can use it as like that foam roller, but it takes up no space and it's really small. So um, when you're thinking about your exercise, I suggest just get out and see wherever you are. So um, I don't think I can travel with Mace, but I'm going to just get up early and make sure that I first thing in the morning, this will also help you with your sleep, is get some sunshine on your face. Go for a walk, go for a jog, um, just like look around and uh, just see different things and experience different things. So if you're out and you're able to bring mace, um, you know, like a little bear spray, you can go out, go for a run, uh, go for a walk. Um, you, you could, if, you, if it's an unsafe space, then you could just do your jump rope in one little small area and your band, but move every day because that not only helps you stay strong in your vacation, it gives you energy, better blood flow, helps your immune system and helps you sleep at night. So exercise is so incredibly important. Um, okay. So then let's talk about sleep. So we already talked about some supplements for sleep, but some of the hacks for sleeping is start adjusting. If there is a time change, start adjusting slowly. So like Coral, my daughter Coral and Casey are in Africa for five weeks. Um, and there's such a big time change. Like right now she called me, it's like eight o'clock at night there. Um, but start adjusting slowly for us, for Peru, it's only a three hour difference. So just like go to bed just 15, 20 minutes earlier or kind of later, just adjusting to the time change that you'll be going into. Um, if you are traveling in the same time zone, just really remembering that you're gonna wanna baby yourself. Um, I always bring for the flight, for everything, I bring my eye mask everywhere. Um, I even sleep with my eye mask at home. I bring a good pair of earplugs and so then you're like at night and I usually bring like essential oils, uh, something that is like a yummy smell that I'm used to that creates that like sleepy, restful feeling. So sleeping is good eye mask, start adjusting to the time zones. And then the more sunshine you get in the day, the better you're adjusting to the, the circadian rhythm that you are um, traveling to. So get that sunshine first thing in the morning. You just look up and of course don't look straight into the sun, but that sun on your eyeballs, the sun on your skin, Nancy, that's why you're so happy is because you get out there and you're running all the time. I know most of the time when you're running, it's still dark, but uh, you know, getting out in that morning sunshine really helps you with that sleep, falling asleep while sleeping all the way through the night. So um, that is for sleep. Okay. Um, oh, exercise too. Um, I always bring a quick dry towel everywhere I'm exercising that duels as my yoga mat. So the quick dry towel is, you know, obviously great for like showers or when you're jumping into the ocean or the pool. Um, but then you can also lay it out as part of your exercise mat and you don't have to bring like a big yoga mat. So that's what, that's my hack for my yoga mat. Um, okay. So, so for packing, the things that I think of is like my kind of beauty supplies. 
uh, very, very small. Uh, your skin takes a beating when you're traveling because hydration is important, but it's harder to get to. Um, and you're usually exposed to different environmental toxins that can really take a beating on your skin. So um, this is, it's called Super Goop. And it kind of gives you like, um, it, it shows that it's a color, but it's not really a color. So like you can wear it, it's not, it's not like a, a makeup, but Super Goop is all natural and it is, um, it's called Glow Screen and it's 40. So I put this on, I put it on my face, my neck, my ears, my shoulders every day, even not when I'm traveling. Um, having a really good lotion when you're traveling. So I get... Um, there's a lot of different lotions, but when I'm traveling, I do this like probiotic mo moisturizer, um, but just any kind of lotion that doesn't have a bunch of toxic stuff in it, any kind of sunblock that doesn't have toxic. So I, I can't take this. I don't, I, I very rarely check my bags. I usually just keep everything in like a little backpack. Um, so I can't take like big stuff on the airplane, but just make sure that when you're traveling, take a sunblock, a mineral sunblock that doesn't have a lot of toxins in it because those toxins are like neurological disruptors and can cause havoc. So this, um, uh, this Alba, I just got at Costco. Um, again, I can't take it with me because I don't check my bags, but you might be able to, if you're going camping, um, a really good lip chap. I love sun bum makes your lips feel amazing. We always get such dry lips when we're traveling. Make sure that it has sunscreen in it. Um, and then sometimes I just do like a little sunless tanner because I live in Tahoe. So I don't, I, I've been like in, in uh, the non-sun exposure. And plus it's like getting a tan is not great for your skin. So these little like sun bum sunless tan and they're just little wipes you kind of wipe it on can you see do i look a little tan so i used one because <laughs> normally i'm very white um so a little sunless tanner and not necessary but you know i like it um and then so that's really it with my beauty routine i use glossier for my eyebrows i use um what is this um, amplified blink for my mascara um, because it's really easy to come off. It doesn't, it comes off in like tubes. So I don't get it in my eyes and I can easily wipe my face. Um, and then I use Dermalogica overnight repair um, serum because it smells delicious and it really helps like repair your skin while you're traveling. So those are kind of my things for beauty. Um, Bug repellent is really important, um, especially if you're going like camping. Um, I like these buggy bands, so I just wear them like on my ankles and on my wrists, and they kind of look like Archaea wristbands. Um, they help and they're natural. There's also tons of botanical spray. Be careful with DEET. Um, it is like a neurological disruptor and it's really brutal. Um, so I, you know, I can't say don't use it because if you're going somewhere like Peru with like Zika, it, it, but I just suggest as much as possible, use like citronella candles um, and natural. Um, okay, so where are we? Entertainment, so packing, um, oh, sunglasses. My favorite sunglasses are Gooders. They're polarized and you can get like two or three pairs. They're $25 each and they're great. They're really light really good for running. Um, another thing is the flip-flops that you use, make sure that you can take them in the shower. I love the Birkenstocks. They're the, um, they're like the plastic Birkenstocks. They're really, really light. Um, and they're so great. You can wear them all day. You can wear them when you're walking through rivers. Um, you can wear socks with them, which is like when I'm traveling, you can wear socks. So, so flip-flops are sometimes hard. So I love those Birkenstocks. Um, I think I already said like a really good light pair of running shoes is important, even if you're not a runner, because you're going to be out hiking and doing all kinds of awesome stuff. And um, let's see, where else are we? So I think entertainment, of course, your first aid kit, think about blisters and um, Think about just packing just the few like band-aids and things like that. Um, and then I always pack giveaways if I'm going 
to another country. So I, we always have like fun little, like, this is like little, those little Kaya fit like balls that are this big. You can give these to the kids. Um, we have like little like pop sockets or just little things to give away when you are traveling because people like um, to, you know, just fun little gifts. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys with entertainment. Um, entertainment is one of the things that is su super uh, fun and makes your trip great. So if you have the opportunity to travel with a friend or with your family, uh, a good deck of cards are really uh, fun and important because sometimes we get connected to like watching movies, which there's nothing wrong with that, or um, listening to podcasts or things like that. But sometimes like putting that stuff away and connecting through games, but you have to keep them in your pocket. So um, this is like Basecamp Card Company and it has questions on the back and cards on the front. So a good deck of cards is great. Um, a really good book, of course. And then a journal is one of the most important things because as I've traveled throughout my whole entire life, I love to travel. I had Coral at 16, zero money. We traveled one month every year. Yes, my credit card debt was a little rough, but we did it. And the most, the best thing, I was just actually cleaning out my garage, reading her journals and just taking the time to write in your journal because one, you might want to share that with somebody too. You know, you might want to share it with somebody is, um, you know, thinking about like what you can um, just experience through writing writing about where you are and all the gratitude that you have for the opportunity that you get to travel. So, okay. I love you guys. That was a lot. <laughs> if I had to recap, you guys would have to sit here for another half an hour, but just thinking about supplements to boost your energy, to help you sleep, help your digestion and help your immune system. When you think about movement, keep it really light, but don't neglect it because it's something that's so important. So grab your running shoes, a good jump rope and a band, um, body movement. It's not about exercise. It's really about mobility. I'm also going to take some classes in Peru. So I'm going to look and see, Hey, is there a kind of fit? Uh, but I'm going to try to find something uh, that I can, that I can actually participate with everybody at, um, and do a class because I love doing classes, um, whether it's dance or whatever. Um, and then when you're thinking about your sleep, don't forget your eye mask, don't forget your ear um, plugs. You can also like listen to like white noise in the back if you use your um, AirPods. Uh, pack your, your shades, your sunblock, wipes are always really important. Um, Oh, I forgot to say on guard. So on guard is one of my favorite uh, for the, it's doTERRA, but it smells delicious. And it is also um, really good for um, like hand sanitizer. And then like, this is just like a Trader Joe's hand sanitizer. So bring those, bring wipes. Um, that is, and then entertainment, bring yourself and your cards. And hopefully let's put our phones away and, Let's just connect to nature and connect to wherever we are blessed to travel. I love you guys. I hope that I see you.